Hello and welcome to another short drawing lesson. This week we're going to draw the Ford Thunderbird, a lovely classic design. So the first thing we'll do is a front wheel over here and try and draw as lightly as you can for these early stages. We can firm it up later on. Next we need another wheel and that's going to be two and, a th and a, maybe a third of a wheel further back. So one, two, and a, well, maybe a quarter, quarter of a wheel and then draw another one. And this can be very faint because half of it's going to be obscured. You only need to see the bottom half of that one. Next, we need a nice horizontal line that just skims the tops of those and hangs out the back slightly. Use the sweep of your arm to get a nice sweep, swooping line. Um, now we need the bottom of the car, which is a little bit lower than the centers of the wheels, has a slight curve and the aim with this part of the car, the bottom of it, is that it's slightly bigger at the front than the back. It sort of tapers. So your bottom of the car here wants to just kind of swoop upwards slightly so you can continue throughout the back there. And then we've got one last one to stick on top of here, which can be about this sort of height above the front wheel. What's that, a third of a wheel, a quarter, and a little bit less down this end so that it gets, so it tapers. Again, use the whole sweep of your arm to get a nice smooth line. Um, now we'll put the ends in. So at the front end, we've got a kind of a vertical here. And then this section here will be used for the headlight, which sticks forward a bit and has a, an overhang. So this whole sort of streamlined shape sort of starts with these front um, overhangs and things, doesn't it? Um, at the back, we need a, a decent, at least a wheels overhang, so quite a big overhang on these uh, early American cars. So this first section is going to be used for a fin. Then there's a, a little bulging rear light. Then we've got a small step in, like we've got at the front there, before it curves around and meets this sweeping shape here. So it's got to get you know, sloped downwards and run into that nicely. So we've got the bottom of the car in. We could just finish it off actually. We've got the rear wheel is covered just above the center. The front arch is squared off, so you've got a horizontal top part and then slightly squared off or straightened edges like that. Right, now we'll put our door in. The back edge of the door slopes forward quite a lot like this. The bottom edge is pretty much level, curves round and is pretty much level with the centers of your wheels. So a horizontal line there. And the front edge is quite vertical. If anything, it leans back a tiny bit. Again, quite a soft curve at the bottom there. And you want to go up at about the one wheel mark. Remember we made this one wheel mark here. Goes up and at the last bit just curves around a little bit. There's our door. And that allows us to plop our windscreen on. So we've got a fairly steep pillar here and then a much shallower slope at the front for the glass and the bottom edge curves around and that allows you just to show a little bit of the bonnet there. And now the roof is half bit down the pillar a little way, horizontal, and then it has a soft curve before kind of echoing the door shut line, something like that. And then for the top edge, soft curving roof and the end of it wants to be level with the center of your rear wheel. So if you go to your rear wheel, come up from there, that's going to be the bottom edge, which is just slightly more sloping than this side. And you might just see the rear screen in there. So we've got our basic Thunderbird shape and we can put some details in. Put the ground in first. 
I like to stop when I get to the tyres. It just sort of kind of gives the impression that the tyres are stuck to the ground. And while we're doing the tyres, we can show the wheels on the far side or we'll darken the underside of our car so it looks like a shadow. There's the wheels on the far side at the back. Um, we can darken and those wheel arches and the overhang there. Just, this is the stage where you can now firm up some of the shadowy areas and underneath of things. Um, we can see up inside the roof there, so that can be darker. Maybe see the roof on the far side there. Here we've got a small mirror, rear view mirror. Maybe inside you'd see the uh, steering wheel and dashboard. Just here on the door we've got fairly standard sort of door handle, a key, keyhole. At the front here, ahead of the screen, we've got a series of strakes or vents with a little badge behind. Speaking of badges, we've got the Thunderbird logo there. You can just add a little bit of um, horizon to your chrome light surrounds. And for chrome, we've got some bumpers there, which seem to have some big features a bit further in, which you can just about see. Same at the front. So we've got the sort of bean shape. And then sitting above that further inside the car, we've got these like jet intake shapes, aren't they? Up here on this car that I've got for my reference, we've got a small air intake. And that's not far off done, I think. Um, maybe just a little bit of detail for the wheels. We could just, uh, there's some sort of knockoffs there. Just show that the wheels have set in slightly, give an idea of the size of the tires. I think we can call that done. I hope you enjoyed that one. Do let me know in the comments how you got on with yours. And if there's a car you'd like me to try next, I've got quite a list to get through, but I do try and get through them all eventually. Otherwise, like and subscribe. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you for another one soon.